What is up, Pepe Army? Welcome back to my crypto journey. Of course, my name is Rodney. Do me a favor and smash the like button if you're having a good weekend and if you're bullish on Pepe. And also, let me know in the comments down below. Do you think that Pepe 2.0 was a rug pull? I'm interested to hear your opinion because I'm seeing all sorts of stuff saying on Twitter and on YouTube. And I'm going to share my opinion about Pepe 2.0 and Pepe and other tokens that are created as some sort of form of Pepe because as a token gets more and more popular, people are going to make copies of it. And then some will do well like Baby Doge, but some will just kind of fall off the map. So I'll share my opinion here in a second, but make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date on all the cryptocurrency and meme coin news. Now, admittedly, the cryptocurrency market has been kind of boring, but we did get some sort of bombshell yesterday that really didn't do much for the cryptocurrency market. Now, yesterday, the S SEC says that the spot Bitcoin ETF filings are inadequate. Well, what does that mean? I mean, the last two weeks, Pepe, other meme coins, and the entire cryptocurrency market have been humping like crazy. And that's because uh, we had uh, BlackRock and Fidelity and other large money managers say that they're going to be making spot Bitcoin ETFs. Well, this news coming out saying that, oh, they're inadequate, the filings are inadequate, a lot of people are taking that as, well, there's not going to be any spot Bitcoin ETFs. Let me tell you something. That's not true. Right? These guys manage way too much money. I mean, just those two entities alone manage about $15 trillion-ish alone. That's insane, right? So when they say this to me, this is like, hey, these are inadequate. Go back, fix it, come back, we'll approve them. And I think that's exactly what's going to happen. And we like to see that Pepe notices it. They said, I don't care about this particular psyop. Honestly, Pepe. So they know it's just a way to manipulate the market so that their big buddies and their big friends can get in and buy their favorite cryptos, like mostly Bitcoin and Ethereum, at a discount. But you should see this as an opportunity to buy the dip as well. Now, Pepe hasn't really done much over the last day. It's kind of trading sideways, looking pretty strong. And the overall cryptocurrency market is up a little bit, right? But Bitcoin, same thing, right? Just kind of just trading sideways, not really doing much. And I do like this little uh, addition that uh, CoinMarketCap made to their website, which is the Fear and Greed Index. What does this mean? Well, pretty much when you know the market's in a greed zone, it's probably time to sell because we're getting too greedy. But when we're in a fear zone, that's probably time to buy. Now, this hasn't been the most accurate chart historically, but it's a nice idea of what's going on in the market. So if you see this all the way to like super greedy or super fearful, then you should be able to, you, know, you can take that as a sign to buy or sell. But like I said, the best thing to do in a cryptocurrency is to dollar cost average. Now, I do like that Pepe is still trending, which means that eyes are all on it. All right, let's move over to Pepe 2.0 because a lot of people are calling this a rug pull. Let me go ahead and put this on the day chart and show you exactly why people are claiming that Pepe 2.0 a rug pull, it's a scam, yada, yada, yada. You heard everything before. Now, I got into this, well, excuse me, I didn't get into this, but I had a lot of subscribers get into this and they made some insane money. And to me, it doesn't matter who's promoting the token because a lot of my friends, other influencers in the space promote tokens that I don't necessarily back because they can do what they want. But a lot of people take, take that as me endorsing it. Now, I like meme coins as much as the next guy. I like to get in, make my money, and get out. I don't care who's promoting it. I don't care who the dev is. I don't care who's worked with what project that is now working on this project. I don't care if Vitalik holds most of the supply. To me, that's not... It's, that's not going to take me away from sticking to my rules in crypto, which is always look out for number one, especially meme coins. And you're number one, which means you have to look at your certain situation and look at the profit you're making and then pull profits accordingly. I mean, a lot of people forget that the point of investing is to make money. And so if you're investing into these meme coins and you're always holding, even though you're up significantly because you want to you know, be the next ship story or be the next you know, Pepe story, well, then most of the time you're going to get wrecked. There will be some times because we had the shibs and the pepes and other meme coins that went insane. There are going to be times where you have these crazy thousand X, 10,000 X, 100,000 X cryptocurrencies, right? And you're going to be able to do that. But most of the time, the vast majority of the time, you may get a 2X, you may get a 5X, maybe a 10X. And a lot of people still don't pull their profits. So they get upset. Now, when I 
discovered Pepe 2.0, this thing was at a $2 million market cap. Now, when my friends told me about it, it was at a $1 million market cap. And I didn't buy it because I get a lot of things shielded my way. And most of the time I lose and I decided not to ape so carelessly into meme coins unless the entire market is running. And it wasn't at that time. Um, but this thing went up to a $50 million market cap. So you can imagine if I would have put something in there, I would have made some money. I had a subscriber put in one ETH at $200,000 market cap. That's crazy, right? At the all-time high, this person hand over fist money. So congratulations to that person, right? But there was some FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt spread it on Twitter by some people about the project. I don't know exactly what it is because it doesn't really matter. And it dumped the price. Now, I don't trust all developers, I, most of them, 99.9% .9 on the trust developers. I know a few in the space and look at, let me tell you something. It's a, it's a dog eat dog world out there in meme coins. And it's really every man for himself. And I've had developers straight flat stone face, right? Flat out lie to me about certain things. because so I worked with a lot of them for meme coin promotion. And that's when I just stopped really caring about what they say and just stick to my own principles. And even if I take promotions for a cryptocurrency project, I don't care what it is. My principles are the same. Get in, make your money, either all the way, get out all the way, or get, take out your profit and then leave a moon bag or something like that, right? So if it does thousand X, you can make that money. But, you know, in the event, the likely event that it doesn't, at least you save something, right? At least you save your initial investment or some sort of profit, right? So, you know, when it comes to Pepe 2.0, what is Pepe 2.0 doing? Well, it's, you know, riding the fame of Pepe, which is okay. I mean, people are like, oh, it's a fake Pepe. It's like, Fine, it's a fake Pepe, but it's making people money. So that's what I want. But if you don't have any self control and you listen to these Telegram or Twitter groups and you become like a freaking worshiper of these certain projects, well, then that's how you get wrecked because you know you're listening to these people that don't know what's going to happen with the price, that don't really know the developers. Maybe they're working with the developers. Maybe they were paid money by the developers, but they don't know them personally. They haven't shaken their hand. They haven't gone out to dinner with them and their wife. They haven't babysat their children. I mean, these people are crazy. They act like they know these devs and, you know, they, they're in these Twitter and Telegram spaces like, oh, you know, everything's going to be OK because he told me so. And then the thing dumps, you know, <laughs> you know, 100 percent the next day. You know, the thing is down, what, 48 percent on the day. It's insane. Right. That's that's really bad. But this is what I expect from meme coins. And I made a video saying, hope you're taking profits. Right? What goes up must come down. So it doesn't matter what the FUD is about this. Do I think it's a rug pull? No, it's not a rug pull because it still has liquidity. Right? Um, the market cap is way less than what it used to be. But even if you got in when you know I heard about it or when most people heard about it, I mean, you're still making decent money, but you have to have some self-control. Um, so if you're in Pepe 2.0 and you're feeling like it's a rug pull and you're looking for answers, I mean, my advice is always just to take this as a learning situation and just understand that all meme coins are like this. Sometimes you're going to get the Pepe's who go absolutely insane to hit a $1.6 billion market cap and change the entire cryptocurrency space. But the, most of the time, you're going to get something that pumps massively, just a little bit, right? And then dumps and never is talked about again. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so very much for watching. And I will talk to you very, very soon. Peace.